know so much about me. I don't like that you know nothing about me. Why did you ask for change? <laughs> there was a vending machine at the hospital and it had a candy in it that I didn't know where to get anywhere else. And it was just so good. Your mom would let you have it? Yeah, well, she let me, but just one. If I got change from strangers, I could have as many as I wanted, she didn't know. That's smart. Mm-hmm. What was the candy? It had a yellow wrapper with lots of colors on it, like uh, confetti. Butterfinger? No. Dots? No, definitely not. Peanut M&M's? No, I love that, but I can't have them around because Charlie has an allergy. Dares. Dares. We don't have that in the Hey, panelers, welcome back to the show. I'm Mark. And I'm Steve. And this is going to be a spoiler full podcast about Dark Matter Season 1, Episode 5 and 6. So we're covering episode five, wordless, episode six, super world position. This, world world that's hard to say. Worldless. World okay. world world worldless. Yeah, like I without put world. wordless. <laughs> yeah, without world. Without world. <laughs> without world. All right. Okay. <laughs> so and superposition. Uh that is on Apple TV Plus. Uh a little bit of apologies of why we're covering two at a time. You know. Life gets in the way, obviously, and it happened with me. Uh, things in my work life has been a little bit crazy. So uh, please bear with us. But we are covering this. So uh, we definitely will be covering seven and eight next episode of the podcast. So uh, right now we're going to concentrate on episodes five and six. I hope you guys have watched it. And if you did. Great. This is not spoiler to you, but for those who are just listening, you're going to get spoiled. So if there are things that you don't want to be spoiled about, please stop the podcast now. Go watch the episodes and then come back to us uh, just to uh, give you guys a little bit of information before we actually get into discussion. So episode five, we're going to start off with and the synopsis is Steve. As they learn more about the box, Jason and Amanda see alternate versions of their lives. Jason, too, begins training a potential investor. Yes, and we know who that potential investor yes. is, too, within the episode. And uh, what were your initial thought, overall thoughts of the episode? Did you on, enjoy on, it? On, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, five. You know, these, these two were kind of good to kind of put together but i want to i need to before we before we get any further mm -hmm. i need to i need to go back in time put us in the wayback machine sheldon and uh and take us back to uh the end of us recording episodes three and four and mm -hmm. i have to apologize to mark i have to give mark his props he was he's the man mark, what did i say I, what did i do I, I dug my heels in i mean i literally like like we finished episode four, we mm -hmm. were we were at the end of of uh, uh, recording episode four, and I dug my heels in saying that no, we are not going to see Amanda Prime. Like I like I dug like there's no reason why she would even be <laughs> in this show at all. I don't know why we would even have her yeah. at all. And then of course the first thing we have happen in episode five is Jason goes out and finds her. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, finds Jason her, two finds her. Jason two, excuse me. Jason two yeah. finds Amanda Prime <laughs> and g starts going to her as a counselor. I'm like, going, damn it! I'm gonna have to just eat some crow and say, <laughs> sorry, Mark. You, no, 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 no. You're it's... smart. I'm stupid. Uh, you're no. good looking. I'm, no, <laughs> I'm no sorry. honestly, my uh... homage to Happy Gilmore. There. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I actually, I was like, okay. I kind of factored and figured in that they're going to actually introduce a lot of these characters from other timelines, especially within the central world, which is well, yeah. the main one. Also, and I should have known that was going to happen. But, uh, also in episode five, we're going to meet, we meet an alternate Blair and we f find out how she became one of the people working on 
Jason yeah. Two's project in his universe. And I'm like, seriously, do all these people like, but it makes sense though. And so, so I, so just right off the bat, apologies. You, you were, yeah. you were ahead of the game on that one. Uh, you figured that out before I did and uh, good on you uh, for figuring <laughs> that out. Needed, uh, or, or at least, <laughs> or at least, uh, you know, uh, seeing that, uh, seeing that coming because, you know, it is, it is interesting to hear how the little things and like, I think it's in, it's in episode five, you know, yes. when Jason is explaining to Layton mm-hmm. that that they can't just travel to any old alternate universe. Mm-hmm. Like, 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 you know, like they're not going to go to a universe where there's cockroach versions of themselves. Right. <laughs> he explains the fact that, no, no, the only versions we can we can touch are the ones that are like adjacent to ours. The ones that are like have those small changes. Yes. Those things that are just that are just subtly shifted. Maybe not subtly, but that that shifted from our universe to another type of universe. Now that doesn't really explain some of the places that Jason prime and Amanda two saw when they saw like the destruction of worlds and yes, and that kind of stuff. But I could still see how like a little, a little thing here or there could cause those worlds to be created. So I'm, I'll, I'm, I'm willing to, to give, to give a little bit of grace with that, but, but it, it mm-hmm. does explain, you know, Leighton gives that explanation. This is, this makes sense of why we have the same people showing up in, in their lives in both universes and all the universes. So, yes. Yeah. yeah. And there's a little bit of information about how they feel when they go to these mm-hmm. worlds as well. And that's exposed in this particular episode as well as in, in the next. Yeah. Uh, Amanda gives a little bit more of a uh, descriptive format of how they're chosen when they open the door and then they're in this world. And mm-hmm. and we will get into that when we get to that point. But both episodes to me were very, very good, very well written. And there's a lot of nuances in it that kind of shadow to the next episode. Mm-hmm. That that we get. So with episode five, we get a little nuances that happen, and then we get them in episode six. Mm-hmm. And I like that because it's very fluid. And you can yeah. look at that. You know, if you, somebody who's binge watching these shows now, mind you, you can't because they're going episodically. They're going from week to week, so they're holding you on that ledge, <laughs> mm-hmm. so to speak. Yeah. To to watch the next episode and well, that's yeah, how- just like we get we get foreshadowing of Charlie's peanut allergy. There, correct. It's, it's very it's very subtly mentioned in this in episode five, and then in episode six, we're going to see it actually pay off. Yeah, you know, when when we have when we have Jason two forget that he has a you know it mentions we get we get the Jason Prime with Amanda two in the box, and he says they're talking about candy. And she asks about peanut M and M's, and he goes, "Oh no, no, we can't, can't have peanut M and M's in my house because Charlie's allergic." Yes, and, you know, and then that doesn't that doesn't pay off until this until the next episode yes. when we when we see you know so so it, it's it's really cool how some of those things that they're doing are are getting that uh, you know um, the the thing you know in the previous episode he keyed in on who Blair was and what kind of a lawyer she was. Yep. And then, of course, in this episode, in episode five, they meet Blair, too. And he mm-hmm. asks her, well, you know, and she's like, well, what am I in your world? And he's like, well, you're a whatever, an anthrop- a anthrop- bioethics lawyer, a bioethics lawyer. And she goes, oh, yeah, I was going to do that. But I got put on a wait list yes. at the end of high school or at the end of one of her college, whatever things. And she switched to bioengineering mm-hmm. or to engineering instead. Just that little subtle change was enough that put her into the project to Jason two's project instead of being yeah. a lawyer. So, and then uh, she was uh, the, the first to go in and they lost her thinking that she was dead. And then when they get there, they're, they're they jumping. Must, yeah. They must've had enough of a, like the theory of what the box was going to do must've been enough in place because she talked about the fact that Amanda you know, gave them some kind of training to prepare themselves. So they, there must have been a theory that Jason Two proposed about yeah. multiverses. I, I would have to think because it seems like that's what Blair did. That Blair traveled to different universes until she found this one where one a version of her had brought these bugs in, and she said, "Oh, but." They're, they're not in the facility anymore. So now I'm just, I go out to scavenge and then I come back. She found a universe where she could hide 
you know, mm. however she, however she was able to do that in her brain, she was able to, you know, position herself, her mind and her body in enough agreement that she was able to find a world where she could hide in. Very and, true. And that's what she was looking for was a world to hide in. Um, and uh, so, I found it uh, intriguing with uh, the different worlds they do encounter in this particular episode, because we get water world out of the bat mm -hmm. and they open the door and it floods, it floods the room. And then as soon as they close it, it just, the water dissipates. Yeah. I'm like, where did it go? <laughs> yeah. I, well, because remember the hallway is, and this is where it's a little bit unclear because remember the, the, the hallway is just their minds or I guess the water was coming into the box Mm -hmm. And the box that they were in. And somehow when they closed the door, that managed to, st I don't know. I, it's where there's the got to be go? some sort of drainage. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. There's a drain. <laughs> or what, that's one of the, that look, that's the little, that's one of the littlest things of not little, but that's, that's me that's nitpicking of, right now. That's, well, that's one of the minutiae <laughs> things like, uh, like I had, is it on this one or is it the next one? Let me see if I've got it on this, my notes here, or uh, I think it's in the next one mm -hmm. uh, where, um, they have all the camping gear. How, like, where did that come they, from? <laughs> how are they, and how are they paying for things? We're going to see them. Oh, like, that's also brought up too by Jason too, at a certain point saying that, uh, to Layton when he's trying to train him on things, mm -hmm. how currency is tracked. And if you use it from one world to the next it flags as a uh, counterfeit. Yeah, you can't bring money from one world, one universe to the other. So how are they able to buy things? How are Correct. they able to stay in hotel rooms? How are they like their credit cards? You know, <laughs> yeah. What's how are they? It just it just there's some little things that it's uh, it just it bugged me. And, and it bugged again, me, the, too. The hotel <laughs> room you, thing, the bugs bugged me, too. Well, yeah, the, the hotel room thing is is the biggest one because, like, you have to have a credit card in order to secure a hotel room. Correct. You know, and and obviously we see them get a hotel room in, in at least one of these universes, at, at least or multiple of these universes. They're getting hotel rooms, and we're starting to see that you know that that whole uh, scene between Jason Prime and Amanda too, where they're in the hotel room and she's and they're in the bed together. Mm -hmm. You know, and we see, you know, she says, you know, do you want me to leave? And he goes, no, but I think I need you to, you know, because he realizes they're getting closer, closer. They are. Uh, you could see the. How they're like appreciating one another and you could see how why Jason, too, was attracted to Amanda mm -hmm. and she feels this is the same Jason. And she kind of sums it up, stating that. The uh, when they open the door from the box to go to another universe, it's based upon their feelings or whatever they're expressing at that time. He mm -hmm. did talk about, let's say, uh, his fears. He talked about his mother and in yeah. the hospital and the whole candy bar thing. And next thing you know, they go into this world that's full of viruses. Right. And yeah. And they meet Daniela. And it was it's so sad because, you know, oddly, oddly enough, this comes long after the pandemic at this point. So, right. It came out at a good point. But people are it, the place is desolate. Mm -hmm. It's so they, they show up, they go. It's abandoned. They wind up going into the world. The world is open. It looked like something out of 28 days later where. Hello. Hello. But yeah, everything looks like like the cars are parked formally in the road everything is perfect there's nothing to really initiate you don't see signage anywhere of the virus or hey you need to stay in your home mm -hmm. but they wind up going there and they wind up meeting daniela he sees daniela and and knocks on the door and she says charlie's dead he they didn't come to get the body yet she's sick but he had already got you know he winds up getting tested himself uh, by yeah. I, I think it was FEMA or somebody. Yeah, some sort of government agency that that and apparently left them some um, 
some more testers as well, because I think in the next episode, he says something to Amanda about that. They're still clean, that they're not, that they're not sick. So we know that they somehow got those testers so they can make sure. So that, and you know, that's one of those things that that I'm glad the writers did that because that would have been a nitpick that we would have been going, wait a minute, are they sick? Are they not sick? How do we know? Are they going to bring it to another world? And so it's, it's really cool that the writers put that in there to let us know. Okay. Yeah, no, they're not sick. They're not going to bring it to anybody else, but, uh, but yeah, that, that whole, you know, the whole thing of him having to see his wife and that's, we're going to hear Amanda is going to say that in the next episode, you know, that, that, uh, uh, you've seen your wife die. You've seen this. You've seen you've seen all these different versions of you, and yeah. she's seen different versions of herself. You know, she's seen herself with a husband and a child, or a partner and a child, and uh, mm-hmm. all these different versions that, um, you know, she's got to be freaking out a little bit as well. And so, um, it, it's 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 gonna be it's it's gonna be it's gonna become a theme. I don't want to give away. <laughs> uh, but there is going to be a theme of this coming up, but yeah, this is, uh, it's, it, there was a, uh, I hate to, this is an episode that I have a lot of nitpicks in episode five. I, I mean, I okay. liked the episode overall really, but I have, there's a lot of nitpicky little things like at the end when we, we get him going into the world where, uh, Jason is in prison, there's no snap. There is no during, snap. We don't get that no cue on on that one. We don't get that. So yeah. there was a little bit of a conceit by the by the show to not give us a uh, you know uh, an an idea of maybe this is his home, maybe it's not, and then we suddenly realize no, it's not his home because obviously. I think uh, they heard you, Steve, and they just let us know. But it, it love, was pretty cute. That that was actually pretty cool for the fact that they he does show up and they're divorced. He was in prison, so he bro- she thinks he's broken mm-hmm. out. But there was an interweaving of that se- those scenes with him and Jason too at a certain point as well. Yeah, yeah. Which, so that's what I'm saying. Is, is there's a little bit of a, it, it's in and you know with with Jason training Layton on doing it, and then he goes and we see him. You know, he takes that side trip back to uh, Jason too. Takes mm-hmm. that side trip back to his world. Where mm-hmm. he encounters that uh, that lab tech who's like, Doctor Doctor Disson, you know you're 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 back, and he's like, yeah, well, what have I been back? And she's like, well, yeah, you know, you came back, and then you and, and Amanda left. You another version of you and Amanda yes. left, you know, and so now he knows that Amanda and Jason Prime, Amanda two and Jason Prime have escaped. Yes, from that world, which he leads grabs- him, yeah, which leads him to wanting to seal it off, even though mm-hmm. he's been training Leighton. And he tells Leighton that he has to seal it off and then gives him the ampules. Well, yeah, because Leighton says, because he says, I can get you 50. And this is only, this is my, my thought here is, is, is he says he can get him 50 ampules and J and uh, Leighton says, I'll give you a million dollars for every ampule you can give. So that means he's got $50 million in the bank. Wow. That Leighton gave him. That's why he went back and got those ampules and brought them back to his world and then sealed up the box because he tells Leighton, he says, no, I'm only sealing up this box. So basically what, and, and this I had to world. think of this, I had to really, I had to really consider this a lot because I had to wonder how bored Leighton must have been that he's willing to cut off his access to his original universe just so he can traipse through all these doors like how like how much of an adventure seeker and bored he was in the prime universe you know what i'm saying like that he's mm. willing to give everything up just so he can traipse around and he's only got 50 ampules so it's not like he's going to have a bunch of trips you yeah. know i mean we we've seen they can take you know the ampules last a certain amount of time mm-hmm. so you could you know conceivably you could take one and visit a couple of different worlds but if you're going to spend any time in one world, you're going to run out and you're going to oh, have to use a whole yeah. new ampule. So yeah. you're you're looking at, you know, at most he's got 40 trips that he's going to take that where he's going to finally have to settle in on a place, settle in on a place or find another place that has ampules that he can get, which brings me back to another nitpick that I don't know. I'm telling you, Mark, correct me if I'm wrong. In episode Good. whatever two or three, mm-hmm. when he when he when Jason two first introduces 
Leighton Prime. He gives him the the serum and they drink it. Yes. They drink it. That I'm not imagining that, right? That no, happened. That that okay, happened. That happened. They drank it and they used that to travel. Correct. They we've didn't have to seen, inject themselves. We've never seen that again. Every other time now that we've seen them go, they have injected themselves. But I'm and wondering I'm, if it, it's uh, diluted if, at that point. I don't it, know if it's a continuity. I don't know if it's a continuity error. If some writer just made up this, hey, let's do this one time thing where they drink it. And then the rest of the time they're going to inject it. And we're not going to say anything to the audience. It just it's bugging me because I'm just like it, it is. a Yeah, you bring up a good fact. Well, because this becomes a big thing, right, with with Amanda, because the reason she knows, Mm -hmm. the reason she's able to figure out that Jason, too, is doing something is because she sees the track marks. Correct. So it just this is this is just one of those little again, I go back to these nitpicky little things that I'm like, (laughs) why show us them? Why have them drink it? Because Leighton Leighton Prime looked like he would have been down to inject it into his body. Is yes, the impression I got, he would have been fine with injecting it into his body. So I don't know why they had to introduce it as as drink. It just doesn't it doesn't make any sense to me. I go back to that, like, yeah, maybe I, like you said, maybe he diluted. Maybe maybe it's diluted to that point where you can only go for so long, and then I, when you come back, that's it. It's out of your and, system. And the injecting is more of a is a more Potent. of a lasting. I don't know. It just. It's just bugging yeah. me that they're not explaining this, that this is a one, this was a one-off thing that they gave us. And yeah. I was just like, come on, why do that? If you're never going to address it again, it just, it just <laughs> bugged me. So anyway, but yeah, that's so episode five for as much as I, I did, I liked it. It just, yeah. for me, there was a lot of nitpicky little things that I, I needed to get out of my system with five. Good. Yeah. Going forward, because it's going to these nitpicky little things are going to continue, I'm sure, throughout the rest of the series until we get to the end, yeah. you know, that that we're not going to get any resolution to, you know, uh, how. How they're spending money, how they're how how uh, excuse me, how Jason Prime and Amanda, Two are spending money. Well, that, um, to me, uh, we'll, when we get into six, which will probably be soon. Yeah. But. Yeah, I had a little bit nitpicking too about that because it was brought up in episode five, and we get to mm-hmm. episode six and we see something different. But I uh, overall, I with the the episode, I loved the location shots, how everything was desolate. Like I said, it looked like twenty eight days later at that one point, and in that one universe, mm-hmm. uh, we do get more visuals of everything of different worlds here and there. And then different personalities of the different Jasons. Uh, eventually, we get one with Amanda. We get one of Leighton. But to me, I, I like how they're... Uh, the, I, I really think the actors are really present in each character who they play. Mm-hmm. And the little nuances. And I think that's that's really good for what they're being handed. Uh, Maybe there were missing scenes. Who knows? By the end of the series, we could have like alternate deleted scenes. Who knows? They yeah. kind of did stuff like that where they, unlike Servant, they're not doing uh, behind the scenes or little extras that mm-hmm. they did with that particular series on Apple TV Plus. Right. But I, I would like for them to do that something at the very end. Maybe they could get uh, the cast together and do an overall perspective of season one. And and how it worked out. But yeah, I, I enjoyed the episode and I loved the, the filming. Uh, I loved the locations and everything and the little nuanced stuff, especially with the candy bar, the nuts, everything. Mm -hmm. And it just works out where we're going to go into when it comes to episode six. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. uh, With that, do you have any quotes on this particular? I do. I have, I have a couple of quotes that I, that I jotted down from episode five that I thought were great. Um, Okay. Again, when they're in that world with Blair, with Blair too, where she says, you aren't just homeless, you're worldless. We get the the mic drop moment of the yeah. title of the episode. Um, uh, and then as you talked about the, the water, after they have the whole water thing, Amanda says, you can't lie to this thing. It knows. She's, yes. You know, they're, they're personifying the box. Uh, as is an the entity. Box, mm, the box is becoming uh, a character. Yes. Um, and then uh, when they're, when they're at the, I think it's after they come back from the the one 
where uh, Jason is in prison and Amanda says something about, do you want to know what you're capable of? And he says, I'm terrified of what I'm capable of. And I, uh. I thought that was a very telling line of just the understanding of, of him seeing these different versions of himself and realizing that there's dark, even darker versions oh, yes. of himself. And, you know, and that's a, that's a theme with this, with this thing. Uh, and then finally, it's kind of a, kind of a, a humorous one uh, when they go, when they do leave that world where Jason is in prison, they're in the car and uh, he, they're talking, Amanda's talking about her mom and how she feels bad that she kind of pretended to be kind of her ghost. And, uh, but Jason says, you gave her hope. And then you stole her car. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had that too. But oh man, that was so funny. But it was really sincere in the scene itself, and I really did enjoy yeah. that because he goes, "Is there anybody in this world that you could actually go to?" And they go to there, and then mm -hmm. he sees the whole thing, the shrine, for, yeah, for the shrine, and it has the wake uh, invitation with a picture on it, her smiling, and yeah, that. That was touching in a sense. And she gave her mother hope, which was great. Yeah. Uh, made it look like she was an angel or something. And then mm -hmm. Jason was just hanging around. Yeah. Uh, uh, the quotes that I have would be one in the very beginning. It's just after the water. They're wringing out their their <laughs> their clothes from the water and everything and trying to dry off. And Jason goes, I don't like that. You know so much about me. Mm -hmm. And Amanda retorts, I don't like that you know nothing about me. Oh, and, yeah. And this is kind of a setup for them getting to get more familiar with mm -hmm. each other in this world or their own little, I hate saying it, bubble of a world mm -hmm. because they're going from world to world and they're from two different worlds. Uh, <laughs> one that I have is interesting. Uh, it's Amanda saying you should say it out loud. He goes, okay, I'm feeling very safe and happy and warm. And I just want to go home because he kind of muttered to himself at, at a certain point. Mm -hmm. And the last one I would have would be uh, the, <laughs> the conversation between Leighton one and Jason two, as they were going over the different things of the universes. And he goes, late one goes, you just described the plot of Mad Max. And Jason two is like, huh? <laughs> and Leighton one's like Mad Max, the movie. He goes, and Jason two is like, what are you talking about? And Jason and Leighton one is like, you don't have Mad Max in your world. And then they go into the whole thing about Tina Turner and everything else. It's like, wait, she's an actress in this world. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it because it, it's just like I'm just pulling your leg, man. It's, it's like, like no, we like, like he, you could tell he was just pulling his leg. It was like, it was like that whole Mad Max thing. Like he got it. It was, it yeah. was that was it was really it was really, it, and that's an interesting point to see the 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 fun between the two of them. Yes that they that they were having so yeah that's that that is it but yeah i liked that i forgot about the whole exchange with the whole mad max thing it's like yeah he just tried to play he tried to play dumb until he finally got to tina turner you mean the singer <laughs> <laughs> i just love that yeah yeah but also it kind of references to what they like jason one has been seeing in the other worlds where they have been apocalyptic yeah in, some of them have been. areas yeah yeah all right, I guess we can move right along into episode six, Superposition. Yeah. Which the synopsis for this one is Daniela suspects something's not right with her husband. Jason and Amanda grow closer. Yep, which we kind of alluded to, mm -hmm. <laughs> everybody. Well, but you know, we we I, I talked about that in, in episode four that we could I could see there was something was happening there. Like something yeah. was beginning to happening happen with them that and you had to wonder that it was going to sooner or later because remember she was i mean she had some sort of relationship with jason too you know yes so they were intimate in that world um, and they were together i i liked episode six a lot it it uh again episode six does uh the same kind of thing it, it answers it answers some questions it opens up some more questions um and it, it but it, it really Episode six is again not to give away. I have watched episode seven, uh, but I'm not giving anything any spoilers away. It episode six is really setting us up for the the rest of the the rest of the season. So yes. so it's 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 good to see this episode six. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed episode six. I, I liked what they uh, 
what they presented to us and and how it was visually and and more acting wise with within mm-hmm. the the actors and the, as the characters as being different yeah uh, especially uh the uh the actor who plays jason it's mm-hmm. and you know jennifer connelly nails it but she's like multiple different people at this point in in this episode too yeah, we get the blonde. We get the blonde Daniela. We get uh, you know. She Jason. doesn't even know who he is. Yeah, doesn't even know who he is at all, um, and just kind of rejects him when he tries to hit on her, and uh, and you start to see him losing that hopelessness, and that's why you know Amanda says, "No, we got to take a break. We've got to we've got to find some place, take a break." You know, they get that hotel room, they get that uh, the restaurant, and they they have the food, and yes, which again. We got leads the to gear. like money and why aren't they caught? Your credit card was flagged, or yeah, what your- are they? How are they paying for this stuff? What's the? I don't know. I'm, I'm, like I said at this point, I've ran, I've done my, I've given my rant on it. The the <laughs> writers are the writers are obviously not going to explain to like I, like why give us the explanation? I I, I don't know. It just it just well, bugs me. I'm just with you because it just bugs me because why give us any information about it at all and then then, utilize it? Yeah. And then not tell us how they're getting money. Like, how are they? Are they stealing credit cards? Are Are they they mugging people? Yeah. Are they are they stealing wallets? (laughs) Are they hustling? Because, you know, like he talked about in the last episode five, he talked about hustling for change for the candy. So, you know, are they hustling for money? Are they doing something? I don't know. I'm just it just bugged me, but I'm I'm past it now. Um, uh, for me, one of the things we, we saw a lot in this, in this, and they talk about it a lot, yes. um, because they talk about the little differences between the personalities. Yes. Of the people. I, like, like, go ahead. No, I, I like I, to add to that. Yeah. The little things to the personalities and actually Daniela states it for the fact that, uh, you know, he flossing was another giveaway. <laughs> I've got the quote. Hold on. I've got go the quote. I, I've got it in my quotes. Um, Where's it at? That uh, that Blair says to him, um, uh, or did I not? Maybe I didn't write it down. Oh yeah, it's uh, when she's talking about it, and uh, Blair answers her and goes, "Please stop." I'm I'm hearing he's hotter, cleaner, and richer. Like she's talking about, <laughs> like Danielle's talking about the fact that he 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 takes the dishes the, the dishes out of the dishwasher. He's doing all these, these right away. Things. He and takes the dish- says, wa- dishes out of the dishwasher right away. He's flossing at night. And the only time he normally flosses is just before a dental appointment. And he's, he wants to have sex all the time. Please stop. (laughs) Please stop. I'm hearing he's hotter, cleaner, and richer. Exactly. (laughs) That's That's where, that's the whole conversation, everybody. But yeah, I I found it humorous because it's like the little nuances that they throw in there. And that's how Daniela picks it up. Mm -hmm. And then she follows him to the storage unit. And which is like a cue. And I, I put this as the post and the picture. You can see her on the floor and she took off her shoe and mm-hmm. she has the the uh, uh, the storage unit door ajar in order to get something and gets uh, one of the ampules out. Mm-hmm. And and she's because she re- remembers from the previous episode or was it this one? I'm thinking that. uh she notices the track marks on his mm-hmm. arms from the injections, thinking that he's a junkie. And yeah. then later on, she winds up bringing it to Ryan to investigate a little mm-hmm. bit further because she wants to know what's in it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, exactly. all the sudden changes, you know? Right. And that's and just the things like, like he's doing things that are not Jason. They like, again, he does that thing at the gallery where he, he does this, this big romantic gesture where he he puts her painting up in the gallery and she's like it wasn't even finished yet and she gets yes. so upset he forgets about the peanut allergy you know all these things that are things that that are Jason adding up. yeah that Jason Prime doesn't do you know yes. and that she's like going wait a minute why this are you this is a different person mm-hmm. altogether you know, and she's starting he to realize shows her he shows her that he got the millions from Layton he says the deal's done he shows her the phone with I'm assuming whatever the account balance is of, of money that he's got. Um, and so she, she realizes that she can quit the gallery and start uh, painting again. But it's, it's those, you know, Amanda talks about the fact that he's more Jason prime is more in control of mm-hmm. his emotions. Whereas Jason two was angrier. Yes. Um, 
and and stuff. So she mentions that. Um, yeah, just those those little little differences that they have. And then, of course, like you said, she finds the ampule. She takes it to Ryan. Um, and, of course, Ryan brings that to Jason because he recognizes the compound. Yes. Uh, one thing that we did get out of this episode is we finally, and you mentioned it before, we get Amanda as the therapist. So Jason, mm-hmm. too, seeks out a therapist because he was told to by his wife, by Danielle. So he winds up going to his ex-girlfriend, which he states after going, how did you find me? And he goes, an ex-girlfriend. It's a long story. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. kind of short. But you knew that he still had feelings towards this uh, Amanda at this point, but mm-hmm. still longed for Daniela. And he wanted that life with Daniela. And that's the yeah. whole point. But he's messing up constantly within this world because he only and I think uh, Jason one actually stated it uh, to Amanda at one point saying he must have been there for weeks upon weeks to follow me and to follow everything that's in my life. And I'm not even doing that. And that this was soon after he had to go to the virus world. Mm-hmm. And uh, that that's when he realized it's like, wow, he must have spent a long time there just to investigate, to know who I am, how I am, what I do. But now, honestly, everybody, if you watch the show and you've been watching the scenes as we've been talking about, Jason, too, is screwing up regardless. Mm-hmm. He is not that Jason. They are two right. and, completely different people. Yeah, and there's and it, it also shows you that just even following someone for several weeks or or observing their life from outside looking in, you're still not going to know a lot of the things yes. that would make you be able to take over that person's life. Because obviously, like he didn't know the peanut allergy. He didn't know, you know, the the little the little things of the relationship between Daniela and Jason Prime that that are are at, are starting to add up to Daniela's mind of she's starting to see there's something wrong here. There's something different, but yes. you know, I'll be very surprised if except yeah, I'll be very surprised if she's able to, I can't believe she would actually figure it out from just his theories. It is, there's going to be something dramatic happen and I'm going to yeah. stop right there. Cause I'm going to wait um, for that. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm bleeding into what I already know, um, but, but getting yeah. back to, Back to uh, Jason and Ryan. So when when Ryan confronts him about the thing and he just starts to lay it all out for him, and he says, oh, it turns the amygdala off and I, it'd be better for me to show you than it is to tell you <laughs> what it does. And he convinces Ryan to take the drug, to inject the drug. Again, he injects it with himself. He injects it himself. He doesn't drink it. He injects it. Ryan, <laughs> the skeptical one, injects himself with it. But I knew, like, I started to suspect that Jason was going to leave him somewhere. And then like, I, I kept going back and forth right up until the moment when, as soon as Jason started it, as soon as I saw Jason backing up from him in that mm-hmm. world, I yeah. was like, Oh, he's going to leave his ass there. Yeah, I knew that too. He is, he is so going to leave him <laughs> there. And cause Ryan's just, Ryan's just staring at this idyllic, you know, kind of Chicago land, uh, you know, uh, uh, skyline where Jason's telling him how great things are here and that there's some good things here and you could find a place. Uh, and then he <laughs> says, you know, he, he says that line about, you know, there are many worlds and there are many Ryans. And as soon as he says there are many Ryans, I was like, oh, buddy. And he turns around and sees him. He just and he still shuts the door right into his face. I was just yep, like, oh. meaning that Ryan's going to wind up having to deal with a Ryan in that world. Yeah, or yeah, we we don't know. We'll see. And worlds we'll, will collide. <laughs> we'll see if we ever see. You know, I don't know. I don't know if we're ever going to see Ryan one or Layton one or Layton two ever again. I don't. Yeah, I don't that's think, exactly I don't it know. too. I'm not. I'm Cause... not. I'm not holding my breath for either or any of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, because uh, it's not their story. It's it's not. It, it'd I, be one. But ahead. they're intriguing characters to me. No, I really no, they are. See they are, and I could see like. Like if, if we go into a season two, like if they close this story out um, yeah. and then they go into a season two and we pick up with Ryan one being left in that world. Yes. You know, and now we're going to have a season of maybe they're going to, maybe they do both. Maybe they're going to show us or all three. They're going to show us Ryan's story, Leighton one story and Leighton two's story. Cause you know, Leighton two is in the box, but he doesn't have any ampules. He's just, 
in the box and he's going to eventually die or whatever. But, you know, <laughs> I don't know if we're going to ever see them or not. But uh, uh, yeah, like I said, as soon as he started to, to travel with him, I was like, oh, he is going to leave him somewhere. And then he's going to have to deal with that. So well, honestly, uh, when you talk about the ampules and how it is, I don't think it means of him living in that world. If they go to a different world, let's say, he doesn't need the ampules to live within that world. No, I think no, 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 no. I just mean if he wants to try to get back to his world. Oh yeah, yeah. He to, would have to, to like hijack right. ampules from somebody, right? Right, or or figure out. So I don't know if we're going to see that story or if that if if we're ever going to see them again. I don't know. It'd um, be funny if there would be a cutthroat Ryan going after Jason in that world, saying, "Hey, give me your ampules, <laughs> or I'll kill you." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he injects yeah. himself and have to run to back to the box. But yeah, I I really did enjoy this episode as well. Uh, we did get the whole painting thing in the very beginning, too, because uh, that's when Jason 2 shows her the money mm -hmm. and she's just starting to paint. And then him him like that, it got into a whole discussion of her just fixing everybody else's painting. Right. That's literally right. where it was. And, and she was fine and content in that world. And that's where it's like that was like the cutoff when. He put that that painting into the auction house and the the other people were eager to put it up. But she well, goes, yeah, he was, was unfinished. He was, yeah, he was trying to make her into a Daniela that she's not. Yeah. You know, and and that's what she what he didn't understand was I don't I he wanted. OK, he wants the Daniela that he left. Yes. However many 16 years ago when Correct. when he when he chose to when he chose his career instead of family. Yeah. Um, you know, he, he wants, wants her that, to go back in time, which can't being really happen. Daniela, right. Yeah. And, and how is he going to be a father to Charlie? You know, I just don't, I don't get it's, it's, again, it's, he it's doesn't be, even know Charlie because in his world, there was no Charlie. Right. Exactly. And so how is he going to, he's got to build a relationship with his son that he's never had, but he's also trying to create this wife that he, he never had. Yes. You know, um, so it's 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 not going to work. And that's why we see him when he's talking to Amanda. And, you know, in one breath, he says, well, maybe I'll maybe I'll just leave. You know, maybe I'll just leave and go and find another world. Basically mm. is what he's what he's saying. But then he still seals up the box from at the end of the at the end of the episode, because he yeah. knows he can't risk. He can't risk um, Jason one coming back. Right. Right. And taking over what he has right. claimed for himself. So I think that's going to be an interesting uh, stance, yeah. especially since the fact that he went to go see Amanda as a therapist. So mm -hmm. there, you know, what's to stop Daniela looking at this as like, oh, you're cheating on me with this therapist now. And there's going to be like a whole, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. soap opera about that regarding that because she doesn't know this is not her Jason or yeah. she's yeah. thinking that it's not her Jason. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it's it's there's a lot of stuff that's setting up for the rest of the season, and uh, I'm excited to to move forward uh, and see where it goes from here. And, and I have to be quiet on that because I've watched episode seven already. What so. What did you think about Amanda taking that day for herself while Jason went and did his own thing? Do you yeah. think she went to investigate because we didn't see anything of it? I now, think, mind you, I, you watched episode seven, but right. right. Yeah, yeah. I and and so without without giving anything away, what what she was doing was, you know, basically Blair told her, you know, Blair too told her, you're going to have to make a decision because and and you're going to have to make a decision about where to stop. Eventually you're going to have to stop. Correct. Somewhere. And you know, they're they're getting down to It's like what, a never-ending story. They're they're she constantly said, looking. Well, no, it's not. It's unfortunately it's not a never-ending story. She says, "We've got 10 ampules left and we've got this many ampules left you yes. know and so she knows there's a finite supply and so she takes that day to kind of Scope find out. out herself you know what is this world and is this a world that i want to stop in and then obviously she can't stop in this world because she sees that she has that the amanda in that world has a child you yes. know uh and so she can't stop in this world so she's gonna have to keep keep going and so yeah, like I said, without giving anything away, I think it was a it was a moment for both of them to try to to recenter themselves. And what we're going to see mm -hmm. in seven is we're going to see the results of that recentering. 
um, of themselves. So Interesting. Um, and again, I don't, I, I can't, I, I don't want to say too much cause I've already watched seven. Um, but yeah, that's what we're, what we're going to see is from both she and Jason, there's kind of a, of a recentering, um, of, of what, what is the goal here? What is the end game solution? Gonna Where do be? we settle at mm-hmm. this point? Uh, um, the funny I, thing is, is that when I watch these episodes, as I watch the show and when he goes into these other worlds, you know, if they open a door and they're there just for a moment and they look at it and they close the door, it gives me that feeling of land of the lost when they used to go into the pylon and they would see mm-hmm. a certain world that they could go into, but they don't want to go into it because it's certain things. It's, yeah. it's got that same feel to it because oddly enough, yeah. Sid Marty Croft did something really crazy and wacky back in the seventies to, you know, they weren't tripping out when they were writing those episodes, but it, it makes great for great science fiction at that point for like yeah. multi first or multi worlds. Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, I, it gave me that feeling. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it, I, I really was upset when they said, it's like, well, we're not going to see a bug version of us or whatever, even though we did get bugs that were, and I think those are going to come back at certain point in the future and future episodes somewhere, or if not another season. Yeah, because they destroyed I mean, I because don't know. that that was a key factor because we saw the body dead in in the cot mm-hmm. and then she kept one of the bugs and yeah you know blair i mean un- unless on. unless we get unless we get blair 2 back again i don't know but yeah w- you never know i'm not i'm not i'm not ruling anything out on this show on what they want to do because they can do whatever they want at this point yeah um, going forward i mean heck they could they could do a whole new season uh, do a whole season two that's on a whole different Jason, exactly, you know, and a whole different different uh, whatever. Um, it's like twenty four. So- <laughs> yeah, back in the day, if you remember, every day was a different thing, and he was oh oh no, it was a different hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah but anyway, but no, I uh, I think that's all I've got. Really, um, we talked about Blonde Daniela. Um, uh, at the end, I was a little confused at the end when he looks when he's got the two phones. Mm-hmm. And it took me a second to figure out. I was like, when when it showed um, uh, Daniela calling that one phone, and he looks at the other phone. I was like, why did Ryan have a picture of Daniela on his phone? I was like, oh no no, that's Ryan's phone. That's Daniela calling Ryan's phone, and he's looking <laughs> at and Jason's looking at his phone yeah. that has Daniela's picture. Ryan's phone had that weird squiggly whatever pattern universe looking pattern on it uh, yeah. but it was it was her calling his phone and that's how he figured out that she was the one that gave ryan the ampule and yes. uh, and we're going to see that play out in the next uh, episode so awesome um i've only got a couple of quotes that i haven't already mentioned um the first one is uh when they do the the whole painting thing and she he talks about he says he says, I just want you to be happy. And Daniela says, no, you just want you to be happy. Mm. And, and then um, when they're in <laughs> when they're in the restaurant, Amanda, too, says that she looked up herself in that universe and that she manages the White Castle. Yeah, I thought I, I, I <laughs> left at that one. That was pretty cool. Yeah. And, and the fact is, I uh, what I really appreciated about that scene, honestly, was the fact that they were dancing. She opened Jason up and that's where you could see them like. It's like you could see where they're connecting. Mm-hmm. He doesn't dance, so of course they have to. They had to dance to Raspberry Parade by uh, Prince at yeah, that point. Raspberry and it was Parade. ongoing throughout the the scene and and beyond. Yeah. And I really did appreciate that. And I do miss Prince. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have only a few quotes. Uh, they're different than yours. One would be uh, Jason Two going to Layton at that at a certain point uh, when he's talking about you know training and everything. He goes, you look ready for an adventure. And Leighton one goes, oh, you like that? It's a vibe, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a vibe. Yeah. And Jason one saying to Amanda saying, you know, this is worse than all those crazy worlds. A bunch of Chicago's that are not quite right. Almost, but none of them are mine. Which yeah. is true. Yeah, it's it's crazy how he's writing. He's writing in the book all the little things, the little differences you know, the different colors of the sign and, and noting what to remember what his world looks like. So. And the last one that would be, would be Amanda and Jason talking about uh, the different worlds and how she feels. So she says, I feel like my world is vanishing. 
And Jason one goes, do you think you would ever forget it completely? And Amanda says, I can see it getting to a point where it doesn't feel real anymore. And that is what you, we were, t you were talking about earlier with her trying to settle down because she's not going to be able to get back to that world because the amount of ampules that they're game. Right. They have right. And, and she can't, and she can't ever go back to her world, her universe now because of, of what correct. happened. So yeah. Mm. Tough. Yeah. It's tough, but yeah, that kind of wraps up our uh, coverage and thoughts of episodes five and six of dark matter that's on Apple TV plus. So, uh, now we're on to, uh, podcast recommendations. So what do you have, Steve? Um, just that strange indeed, a podcastica podcast has returned with the third and final season of Sweet Tooth. So uh, check out Pake and Rima as they continue on their journey uh, through that, uh, the final season of Sweet Tooth. I'm trying to keep up with them. I've got to, in fact, I got a, an episode behind, so I'm going to have to try to catch up here this weekend before they record for the next episode. And then you and Jamie should be wrapping up uh, Dead Boy Detectives, right, this Monday. Yes. Yes, um, we will. I'm going to have to try to to hustle to try to get the the two the two last episodes into you guys because i think i'm two episodes behind so uh try to get some stuff into you guys for that yeah uh yeah we uh, i have a lot on my plate as steve had mentioned <laughs> i've been i think i've been recording at least three podcasts a week and with everything that's coming up because snow is coming back we have the boys just dropped and we have to discuss of what we want to do. Do we want to do all three? Yeah, let's talk about it off. Let's talk about that off record. Off, record. we will do it off oh. off podcast. But yeah, we'll got we will let you know you guys know what we're gonna continue with and how we're gonna do it because we want to get into that in the meat and gritty of those things. And also, we want to do Deadpool and we'll Deadpool too when it, when it, yeah Deadpool moving when it comes out uh, when that yeah. comes out as well. So we're there's a lot going on. And the one thing I, you know, Steve has already mentioned Dead Boy Detectives that I'm doing for Podcastica. Uh, so you could hear me and Jamie do that. But I would also recommend Interview with the Vampire, which I'm doing on Adrenaline Cinema Podcast, which is also a collaborative podcast with Podcastica for House Podcastica. So we're having fun with that. So Danny and Lara and myself are really having a great time talking about that show it's amazing. We're getting a lot of feedback. A lot of people are sending in some suggestions too because of the YouTube for adrenaline, which I was surprised for analytics. But anyhow, I've been having a great time with that and I'm really enjoying the show. So if you guys are not watching Interview with a Vampire, I highly recommend it. It's on AMC Plus. Uh, if you have the app, get it, or you could watch it on AMC. But we're having fun with that and I highly recommend that and also check out the rest of the stuff that's out on hot house podcast because uh, house of the dragon, I think is come has come back. Right, Steve. Uh, no, it starts back Sunday. Sunday is the first, the first episode. Oh, okay. of the I thought it already is, started. Uh, is uh, yeah. Tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow uh, we're recording this on, on Saturday, June 15th. The mm -hmm. first episode of house of the dragon is uh, tomorrow, June 16th. So. Awesome. All right, cool. So check that out as well too. Uh, give podcast that's Dragon Cast. That's Dragon Cast on Podcastica. Yeah, give Podcastica some uh, love and go to podcastica dot com. Um, so this is the point in the podcast. So where else can listeners hear us? So I kind of mentioned it kind of quickly. Uh, you could hear me on Pounds and Pixels podcast as always. Uh, you could also hear me on Adrenaline Cinema podcast as well. Uh, right now we're covering Interview with a Vampire. Soon after we finish Interview with the Vampire, I will be going back into the well of movies that I love to go back to that are action-packed. So, we will be going into movies like, and I already have the doc set up, I just need people set up for it, Demolition Man, which I love, uh, Bloodsport, and get back into the action of things. So we're going to go back into that and I'm looking for people to come in and jump in and have fun with that. Uh, and then also you can hear me on fantasy picks movie edition. When Rob comes back, I, I think he's going to do a soft reboot in September. So you check us out then, but you can hear something coming out within the next week or two that we're going to do just to uh, 
fill you in on what's going on with Fantasy Picks Movie Editions. And Steve? Well, obviously, I can be here right here on Panels to Pixels podcast. And uh, really, uh, other than that, I just send voicemails to uh, podcasts that our various friends do when I'm able to keep up with them. Awesome. And, well, if you'd like to leave any feedback, if uh, you want to just send any feedback or even just to say hi, all you have to do is uh, go to our Facebook group, which would be facebook.com slash panels to pixels. Uh, if you want to send an email, you could send that to panels to pixels one at gmail.com. That's panels to is spelled out to pixels and the number one at gmail.com. And you could write out a regular simple email. We'll read it on the, on the podcast when we're doing uh, feedback or we'll play your voicemail, which literally all you have to do is record yourself and send it in as an attachment, just like Steve does on occasion when he sends out <laughs> feedback. <laughs> I know some people have uh, feedback widgets. We don't have them, but uh, we can be found on Instagram as well at panels to pixels podcast. Uh, we also are on YouTube. All you have to do is search for panels to pixels podcast. And if, while you're there, just please subscribe, ring the bell, get notified when the episode comes up and uh, you know, there'll be other videos there as well. Uh, if there's a rating or review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, please do so. Five stars will be very much appreciated. And if you could leave a little comment as well. So uh, next week, we're doing what, Steve? We'll be doing episode seven and eight of the first season of Dark Matter. Episode seven entitled The Fire of Dead Stars. And episode eight entitled Jupiter, which will be our penultimate episode leading us into the season season finale uh, episode nine, which we don't have a title for yet. So look forward to that next week, episode seven and eight. Awesome. Well, that wraps up our coverage this week for Dark Matter on Apple TV+. Plus. I just want to thank everyone for listening. I'm Mark. And I'm Steve. Same podcast, different panel, different pixel. This was Panels Pixel Podcast, and we'll see you on the next panel. And I can't speak. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night.